This is One on One. There he is, Peter Horn, Project 79 coordinator, Westfield High School. Good to see you, Peter. Great to be here, Steve. This is part of our classroom close-up close series we're doing in cooperation with our partners at the New Jersey Education Association, uh, featuring teachers who are making a huge difference. Uh, Got to ask you, Project 79 is, we're about to see a video from the classroom close-up series in just a second. What is Project 79? Well, it's named for the year that it was founded. Um, that's what the 79 stands for. And we've been around uh, for as long as we have because we take care of a population of students within Westfield High School uh, who are of a average to above average academic ability, but they just haven't connected with school, haven't thrived in school as they would like to before they come into Project 79. One of the great things about this series is that our partners at the NJEA actually produced these terrific three minute videos that um, really set a context for our discussion afterwards and it paints a picture that's a lot better than I could describe. We'll see the video and then we'll talk more with Peter. Let's take a look at Classroom Close Up. All right, guys, that's homeroom. Come on, bring it inside. Let's, let's do it. An alternative education program in Westfield is helping high school students discover themselves as learners by combining rigorous academics with individualized instruction. Project 79 is an alternate form of learning where they bring up the question like, is there a way that we can get kids who aren't doing well in mainstream, and instead of just giving up on them, putting them in an environment where they can succeed and do better. Project 79 exists because there was a superintendent of schools way back in 1978 who, who just had on his radar, way on the side of his radar, the idea that there was a group of kids that we were in danger of losing. His name was Larry Green. And so he had this idea that maybe with the right group of teachers, he might be able to offer something to kids that would make school feel more meaningful and make them want to be here. Project 79 is a college preparatory curriculum so project students take the same subjects at the same levels as students not in the program. The difference is the teaching. One of our purposes is to try to you know, have each kid figure out how to use the unique equipment that's between his or her ears. You know, I mean, everybody looks at things differently. Everybody's got a different mind. So to get a sense of your learning style, we are a little bit more hands-on and we can be a little bit more individually responsive because of the size of the classes, but also because of the nature of the activities and projects that we take on. It's the way school should be done. I thought it was really cool because the classes are really small and the teachers concentrate on you better than they did in mainstream. And you're more like involved and you play more engaging games that get you interested in what you're learning. I just moved to Westfield as a freshman. It was very difficult for me to fit in. I was struggling with most of my classes, not because I couldn't understand it, but just because I felt different and I didn't want to be there. So I came into Project and immediately I started paying more attention. I had friends to talk to and my grades have gone from very low to straight A's right now. The highly collaborative approach Project 79's small team of teachers is able to take with the approximately 120 students who choose to participate in the program has led to more than three decades of success and the program becoming a model for alternative education throughout the region. I think that if Project was never presented with me, there's no way I would be going to the school I am today or I would have nearly the, as many friends that I have now and it really, it completely changed my life. One of the ways that I think about the students in this program, um, and it's not an image that I, you know, came up with, but I, I think of them as orchids, that, you know, this is the most stunning uh, and varied um, flower on earth, but it needs the right conditions, you know, in order to amaze you. If you provide the right conditions for our kids, they will continue to amaze us. What a great program. Thank you. How proud are you? It's powerful to see that. I'm, I'm very much, um, I'm addressed. I'm addressed. It's something, you know, I work in the program every day. This is my 11th year um, that I'll be working in Project 79. Describe your role there. Uh, I am the uh, English teacher for juniors and seniors, but I'm also the coordinator of the program, which I see as uh, the very fortunate role of kind of brokering the vision um, with, that we work together as a team of teachers and also getting lots of impact uh, uh, feedback from students and parents as well about the kinds of things we need to be doing, the directions we need to be going in. But I The other teachers. Mm -hmm. Are we talking certain kinds of teachers? Sure. 
who are they? I mean, are they? Sure. Well, they're, they're, they're people who, are, who come from the different disciplines and they're great teachers in terms of content area. But really what we look for, um, because we have a, a, a program that delivers the major subject areas, but also we have a teaching artist in residence, um, for example, to connect along uh, some of the other modes of expression. People who are not just good uh, as a chemistry teacher, for example, being all over it there, but also um, consistently demonstrate that willingness and uh, eagerness to get to know the whole student and to see that. What does that mean? Eagerness it, to get to know it means the whole to, student. To recognize that you are not just the person in front of me for 42 minutes that I'm assigning English work to or having the conversations with, that you have this whole life uh, and interests, which may not include English actually, outside yeah. the classroom. But I have to, you know, to try to understand that a little bit. Um, and to recognize that, that part of what I want to do is to figure out a way to present some of the magic and come a little bit closer to you, you know, the discipline. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting, Peter. You, right. so me, you went to Princeton University. Yes, sir. You come back to teach, right? Yeah. Do you ever get some of your friends, I'm not saying from Princeton, I hate when someone says your Ivy League friends, right? Sure. I'm a Rutgers guy, so we can't say that. It's all right. Even though we like to believe we're part of the Ivy League in our own minds, right? Whatever that means. Um, do you ever get any of your friends who really don't understand the teaching profession and the impact that you really, really have on these young people and the ability that you have to change their minds, asking, what are you doing? Do you ever get sure, that? Sure, sure. We understand the question. I actually, I, I don't get it as often as, as, as people might think. And, and I think part of the reason is that um, the people I have those conversations with most often, you know, if when, when we're honest about it, whoever we are, we can always recognize that there are teachers who have made tremendous difference, you know, in, in our lives. Um, and whether you're going to grow up to be a governor, uh, or a head of a corporation, or a shop owner, um, you recognize that it was somebody, probably, uh, who took you seriously and saw you as a whole person who helped you along the path to wherever it is that you're going. Um, and of course, it's very important when we're looking at the future as we are now, where the kinds of jobs that people will be doing haven't even been made yet. You know, so the people who are going to cultivate those minds, uh, people who are going to take them seriously, are more as as important as ever. Listen, there are all kinds of all kinds of questions I could ask you more about the curriculum and the sure. details of the program, but I'm not going to. I'm more interested in in you and your attitude about being a teacher. Question. Mm -hmm. Final question before I let you out of here. How much passion do you feel today after teaching for how many years again? This is going to be my 16th year. How much passion do you feel today compared to the day you started? It's, it's tremendous. It's, it's, it's work that's different every day. Um, and I believe that. So it's, that it's absolutely undiminished. At this point right now, I am really embracing this role that I have to be able to lead, to be a teacher leader as well as teacher, and that's part of what keeps it interesting. Um, but I believe that every teacher you know, has that capacity, and that's part of why I'm so fortunate to be able to work in the program with the colleagues that I have, um, because they recognize that each of us has tremendous capacity to make a difference. We're very fortunate to have you. Thanks, Steve. Keep it up. Appreciate Peter you. Horn, as uh, Project 79 coordinator, Westfield High School, part of our Classroom Close-Up series, uh, done in cooperation with our friends at the NJEA. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this. Great job. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, Auto Insurance, Homeowners Insurance, and Banking under the principle of stewardship. PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities. And by the law firm of Gibbons PC. Promotional support provided by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey. And by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and its monthly magazine, New Jersey Business. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.